I love you and I hope you like it. Well, it looks like that's no more. Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan have split up after more than a year and things are looking pretty messy, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, these two have always been a little messy, let's be honest, but let's get into their breakup. I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Now, rumors started swirling Sunday that the Real Housewives of Miami star and the son of Michael Jordan had broken up after Larsa wiped all her pictures with Marcus from her Instagram feed, unfollowed him, and posted this on her Instagram story. And this quote about how your partner affects your mental health, your peace of mind, happiness, success, etc., etc., ending ominously enough, choose wisely. Now, that's pretty par for the course when it comes to housewives breakups, but it was Marcus who I thought was even messier. Not only did he do the whole delete unfollow combo, he posted a picture with his dad set to Drake's first person shooter, which if you know the lyrics, Marcus seems to be saying he is back to embracing single life. But it's not the Drake of it all for me. Larsa and Marcus's relationship has been so buzzy this whole time, not just because of their 16 year age difference, but because Larsa's ex-husband, Scotty Pippen, was a teammate of Michael Jordan's back in the 1990s, and they've had some beef over the years. Then back in July, when paparazzi asked MJ if he approved of Marcus dating Larsa, he said no, making this picture Marcus just posted way shadier than Larsa's poll, in my opinion. I do have to say, though, a source close to the couple told People that Larsa and Marcus are simply taking some time apart to reevaluate their relationship and that this has nothing to do with any family input, but solely for their personal growth. I wouldn't be surprised if it got even messier, though. Back in June, Larsa and Marcus launched their Separation Anxiety podcast on iHeartRadio, so they're gonna have to deal with that. And there's the Trader Season 2 reunion that's coming up. Oh yeah, did I mention these two competed on that show together as a couple? No spoilers if you haven't watched yet, don't worry, but I did personally talk to them just a couple weeks ago about competing together on the show. And you beat the judge of it, but I thought they seemed fine at the time. It was super fun. I feel like it, you know, it was a great experience for us, but at the same time, we went into this knowing that we're probably not going to be there, you know, at the same time. One of us eventually is going to have to go home. Um, and we didn't know if one of us was going to be a traitor. Um, so I feel like we did have that conversation where we were like, you know, it's an individual game. If I'm a traitor, if you're a traitor, I hope you make it to the very end. Yeah. And, you know, so we, we already knew we weren't going to be going home. At the I time. feel like we came into yeah. the game with a target on our back, but we wanted to compete as individuals to see as how far we could go. But now I cannot wait for that traitor's reunion. What do you think happened? Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe while you're there, and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Pop